So the other day I was asked in a comment to showcase all of my stadiums into one video. Um, I thought this was a great time to do this since it's towards the end of August right now. And I have quite a few stadiums created now. I'm going to go ahead and go through the order uh, from my first stadium to my most recent stadium. So we're going to start off here with the hangar. This stadium is currently number four in the most popular section of the vault. Thank you everyone that's voted for this to be at that spot. We're going to go ahead and go around. This is a retractable roof stadium with the resources that were given for this. This was also uh, my favorite stadium from uh, MLB The Show 21 that I had created. The roof is completely custom. I really got uh, to use the multi select feature on this stadium. Um, this was my very first stadium that I created the night that the game came out. We added all of the lights and uh, all the night features. That was the first time we saw that. So we'll go ahead and turn the lights on here and show what that looks like also. And uh, for some of these stadiums that were created in 21 also, um, I did modify them a little bit and uh, add some of the new features from 22 in them. And we'll see that in our next stadium also. This stadium also has a 5279 altitude. The wall height is only three feet high. And the dimensions are 300 in left, 400 center, and 300 in right field. So this is a great stadium uh, for grinding against a computer. I know some of you like to play it online also. Um, my comments and my Twitter messages, make sure to let me know each time. So uh, thank you everyone that plays online in this stadium. And uh, trust me, I don't take any credit for your online games. So let's check out our next stadium. So in my second stadium, I actually had to recreate the stadium twice because of uh, issues with the memory. You can see in the top right, it says 106% on here. Um, they had a little bit of uh, an issue right away when the game came out with stadiums. Um, they would say they were about 70% done or 80% and you go and save them and uh, the file would crash completely. I was able to figure out a way around this. I don't remember what that was now, uh, a few months later, but... They seem to have fixed that issue now, so we don't have to worry about it as much. But I actually did create the stadium twice because of it crashing. So there was one night I built it, it took me about eight hours, and then we had to build it again the next day. But it didn't quite take as long because I went ahead and used the same ways that I had created it the day before. But this is the prison yard. And this stadium was also in uh, 21, but the difference in 21 and 22 was I was able to expand this out this way and added more uh, buildings here all together. We'll go around here quick. We were able to add more in the middle also. Um, we were able to add our other baseball field here, our football field, all of our different stuff here. Some of this was in there also in 21. Um, there's another video that shows that also in my channel. But the biggest difference was this expansion here. I was very limited on space, like using these pieces of brick here. And uh, concrete was the same way last year, but they made improvements to it. I love how this turned out this time though. So before the uh, issue with the creator, I actually had buildings all around this thing and a little city out there, but we were playing Sim City a little too much it seemed, so I had to cut some of it out. I was very careful then with the buildings. I started saving in other slots to help uh, prevent the file from crashing and losing my creation. But let's go ahead and light this thing up at night, show what it looks like. It really is a beauty once it's lit up. We've got our field here, and then all around, we just added lighting. Made sure that uh, there were no 
spots there for anyone to sneak around that may be in the prison. We also added lights to our other fields just as a decoration type of thing. Used our uh, lights along the walls also. Had to add the hit it here on there also. And this stadium, just like the hangar, is 300, 400, 300. Pretty sure our walls are three feet here also, just like the last one. 300 and left, 400 center, 300 and right. Another great stadium against the CPU. Um, great for the Orioles on Rookie to get your missions done. Or if you want to mess with people online, feel free. It's eligible for that too. So after making a couple of online stadiums, we had to add one for our offline players and our Road to the Show players. This is called Parallel Park. Altitude is 5279, which is also equal to uh, Coors Field. If we were to compare it to a Major League Ballpark. And this stadium has the shortest dimensions in the game. I actually had to bring these walls up custom. A uh, lot different than our uh, typical online stadiums that have pre-made dimensions. We'll go in here. Only 350 to center field. Two feet in height. 270 to left and right there. And actually, if you download this from the vault, um, it does have some of these props moved up. That was an error in the game early on. Um, it saved it a certain way and moved it when I added it to the vault. Um, we were working with some different limitations at the very beginning of the year, but we worked with them. I almost made the same mistake of crashing the file on this one also in the first week. But we have our custom roof over here. We've got our little city out here also. I tried to expand this all the way around, but we had to be careful again. But I'll try and move out here as far as I can. Kind of show what it looks like on the outside. Our signs are flickering here in the distance. All this stuff is going crazy, but in game it does not do that. It's more from the longer distances. We've got our big buildings here though, our entrances. I tried to think about a concept that would be similar to uh, Globe Life Field when I made this uh, whole thing around it. Making it almost like a building. But we can see our signs aren't really doing that as much now. You look here from the plate, it's not doing it there. We had to add our ballpark village here from uh, St. Louis. Nice little add-on to it there. But uh, this is great for uh, Road to the Show. As long as you're the batter, that's the biggest thing. A lot of home runs hit here. Um, this stadium can also be used in many seasons. So this stadium is going to look very similar to our last one that we just made. I was, had to think of the online players also with uh, creating a stadium with a roof like this and all the different surroundings. But I did tweak some things around it. So this is called Bridgetown Ballpark. This stadium has an elevation of 2600. Um, I asked one of my friends that's a big online player what a good elevation in the middle would be about and he said around 25 to 2800 I just chose uh, 2600 to get close to that and this around here it is 10 feet in height for the walls 330 415 330 left center right we modified a few things here we've got our pier over here We've still got our ballpark village back there. We brought up an arcade, a few other things to hit here. This is a great stadium for online games. We also changed our scenery in the background here. So basically, we just rebuilt um, the seating around this for our uh, new dimensions. But we added our pier back here with our Ferris wheel uh, back before uh, just a couple weeks ago. This was the only way to get something like this. 
obviously with the new props we could have done it differently now but i wanted to add a river theme and have somewhat of a city out in the distance here it's kind of funny though because when you go out in the distance this way those buildings disappear but then you move up and they're back again we added a couple bridges here to get that big gap there we didn't have the water like we have now so we have it made now we can really make stuff like this but this is a uh, bridgetown ballpark great stadium for online um you can always change the elevation if you want to online you just hold r1 go over to properties here and right under altitude and then you just re-upload it and you can have it at any elevation you would like in my next creation i wanted to make a space themed stadium on the moon so this is called the moon we've got an interesting uh, scenery around here zero fans a lot of things floating here a lot of rings to try and hit it into this is a max elevation stadium similar to uh, the hangar and the prison yard which we have seen so far same build 300 400 300 max elevation another great stadium for uh, hitting against the cpu trying to get those missions done getting all the xp wanted to give this as much of a space theme as possible though um, and then this stadium i actually did not put lights in but we have our light in the sky here so it does have a little bit of shadows in the outfield our rings light up also wanted to give it that uh look of actually being in space possibly possibly aliens watching in the distance out there this one actually says it's at 130 percent on the stadium we'll try and get a good look out here in the distance try to add my own little uh, custom craters and everything there had to be careful uh, during that time with the space also but I really liked how this turned out and this one is the moon the next stadium is one of my most favorite places in the world uh, this is the field of dreams in Dyersville Iowa and this is the actual field uh, where the movie was filmed not the stadium that's in the game last year I did make the stadium in the game from a picture that they had given us the week before the game and then about three days later the game came out with uh, their own version of it so I didn't make that this year but I made uh, the actual stadium from the movie um, obviously there's no fence in the outfield but we have uh, limitations um, the other thing I had to do was uh, I was limited on corn here going around so we just had to do our first row there um, otherwise there was an issue with lagging and we didn't want to have that in the game so make sure in the vault if you do download this that you put the field of dreams and not just field of dreams because that one is a different file with um, more lag but we'll go around here and this one is also the same dimensions as the other stadiums we have seen it's my favorite to use 300 400 300 three foot walls and out over this way is where our stadium would normally be in real life but i also wanted to do like a previous form of this before they added that stadium there tried to add our own uh, dirt custom road here this is like a little concession building now at the actual movie scene we got 56 fans here though we've got our house over here our barn which would be the baseballism store now a couple barns actually little parking lot we could actually do this differently now since they added new parking lots in the game tried to add my custom own little custom wood bridge over here and got as detailed as possible on the farm the hill was a little tough to uh landscape there and make it smooth at the time we have more tools now to make that possible but this is the field of dreams 
actually we're gonna go back into the field of dreams re really quick and we're gonna light it up at night so we can share it um when i went to the field of dreams game earlier this month it was really amazing to see at night um, i was also able to see it last year in that way only thing i would change now is i would add a couple more lights i was trying to add as many light poles as they had in real life um but when playing the game it's usually important to have as much lighting as possible so uh i would add probably one over here and one on the other end here probably move that one over a little bit just to have it so it looks more well lit at night time one day i was on twitter earlier this year uh, when the game was first released and someone was asking for a steel stadium from backyard baseball so i went ahead and made my own creation of this now with the new props that we have today i would have done this a uh, little bit differently but this was back in April or May when I had made this, so we used what we had. Normally you see it about here with the scene from Steel Stadium. So this is about all that we see. So everything else around it was custom. Um, what I just thought looked like a good fit there. We added some houses around the neighborhood there. We added our house here. Our trees all around, our pool to hit it into. We tried uh, adding our own custom building back here. Added some different things to make the door look there and our stairs. And uh, back alley there with our little trolley car as the custom vehicle there. We'll light this thing up at night here real quick. And this is what Steel Stadium looks like at night our next stadium was a request from an online player that really enjoyed uh, ship it stadium last year I was asked to recreate my best version of ship it stadium that I could um, with the old elevation the old uh, elements of it so we have 3,000 elevation 3,002 on this um, obviously we have uh, some differences with uh, limitations in the game. We had to use uh, the dimensions that were given to us in the game. So I went with the most accurate that I could in that. We've got 330, 400, 330 left, center, right. And I would have done quite a bit different on this stadium uh, with our new props. Starting off with our custom bullpens over here and how we did this. Obviously our bullpens are on the field by default, but we wanted to add that look like they have on Ship It Stadium. Our batter's eye completely custom. This is what it looks like from the plate here. Did a little bit different look here with the lettering on the scoreboard also. This is great for uh, online games also though, for anyone who loves hitting home runs and Liked the old elements of Ship It Stadium before they changed it this year. We'll light it up at night here real quick. Biggest thing I would have changed in this stadium would have been back behind the batter's eye there with our new props. Definitely could have done that differently with the little uh, spot with the trees there. But this is what it looks like at nighttime. Um, I don't think that the infield dirt looks like that while playing night games. That may be a previous glitch that's uh, showing up again. But if it does, let me know in the comments and we'll re-upload it to the vault. And we'll get that all fixed up. Another uh, popular stadium from Backyard Baseball was requested to be created. And this one is Playground Commons. biggest thing about this stadium that I wish I could have changed would be the color of our clear fencing over there in right field where it's green there I wish we could have made that the wood color but this is what we had to work with so we did it's a little bit in between there but we didn't really have the option with limitations in the game we did build our own little uh, playground area here custom 
on the side. We expanded our park a little bit, our parking lot over here. Added our own little scenery back here, uh, suggested by chat on the stream. Uh, make sure to check out a Stadium Creator stream sometime if you want to be a uh, part of that with giving input. We've got our own custom little uh, swing set over here though. The Angels A is what I use for this. Use pieces of fence here to try and build our own little custom swing. These are light poles here. Gives that look of the uh, playground there from the actual game. Built on uh, in the distance with our neighborhoods here. And this is Playground Commons. Let's light it up at night real quick. Another uh, backyard baseball nighttime game with 392 fans in our bleachers. Our dimensions on this stadium are 320, 405, 300. The wall in right field is 25 feet high. We expanded our fence behind there to give it that look. Uh, seven feet in left, nine in center. And our elevation is 2000 on this stadium. So a little bit different, a little more online friendly compared to the other ones. Along with our tall right field wall over here. So this is a great stadium to take into online games. Our next stadium is a little bit different look from all of these other ones. I try to build a different theme type of stadium for every player, uh, for everyone to enjoy. This one is called The Farm. I personally enjoy using this one. Wanted it to look like we were in the backfield somewhere. Let's get our elevation quick and our wall dimensions. Our dimensions are 300, 390, 300, left, center, right. It's only three feet high in center field, seven feet high in right, eight in left. So this one's built a little bit different from these other ones, but it's also shorter in center field. And the cows are the only fans in attendance at this stadium. Got to hit it here out there by the barn. Wanted to build a custom silo here. Um, this was before our new props came out. Some other little buildings there. A little bit different look with some of the farm props that are given to us in the game. Here's our house and our yard back here with our field. I've actually seen some houses that have their own uh, baseball field in it. That's kind of what helped me uh, come up with this idea also. But we've got more cows behind the plate here, so if you're in pitcher view, they will be watching. We have our own uh, spot here to feed them. And then uh, neighbor's house over there. You can see we're at 122% on this stadium, so we were very limited. Um, this was before that big update with the space. I was really uh, being risky with it, going into different save slots and really trying to maximize my usage of the stadium. So we've got cornfields around here, uh, kind of limited like before. And here's how it looks at nighttime. Pretty decent lighting on this one. Could turn a couple lights, different things like that, but all in all, pretty uh, fun build on this one. Our next stadium is one of my most favorite stadiums created in uh, MLB The Show 22 this year. This one is called The Racetrack, and I have loved playing in this stadium. This one is uh, another similar uh, build dimensions wise and elevation wise. 300, 400, 300, left, center, right. Three foot walls all the way around, max elevation, and we have our stadium right in the middle of this racetrack that we created here. Now we had to use trolleys for our race cars, but you can see they're in a tight race up here at the front. Just before the last turn over here, we actually used our uh, lights from the pinwheels of Guaranteed Rate Field. 
We had a little playground back here, a little tailgating party right along the track there. If we had a little more space, we would have had fences around there for safety, of course. We wanted our little, or our big hotel over here. We've got fans in the ballpark village there, our big arcade, everything in the back there. We would have done that a little differently, not the pier there with our new props, of course. We've got our pit road. We've got our victory lane here where the people are waiting. A lot of custom stuff on this stadium. Tried to think how they had it at uh, different racetracks also. Didn't want to base it on a specific racetrack, but maybe a few of them uh, put together. And then they're all turned over here to watch the baseball game. Our other fans are here to watch the race. We're going to light it up here at nighttime. And pretty similar to uh, the prison yard, there are going to be some patches here, just with uh, limitations in space. But it still gives that look. Our stadium itself is pretty well lit for night games. Could have done something here a little bit more. But besides that, and this one is called the racetrack. Our next stadium is a replica stadium created in 21 also that we brought back into 22 that now has night games. This stadium was home to the Olympics last year and it is Yokohama Stadium in Japan. This is one of my favorite stadiums. We did make this a max elevation stadium because of the amount of home runs that were hit during the Olympics. Biggest thing about this stadium would have to be down here, uh, how we had to custom go around all of this. Um, there is another video on the channel showing how we did that. And then how we got the blue custom uh, look all the way around there. I love how this turned out though. One of my favorite builds. And this stadium is... 300, 400, 300 with eight foot walls. I love how the city turned out in the background there. We had a few buildings that uh, we were able to kind of replicate the placement, but this was also one of my uh, favorite builds in 21. Let's take a look at it at night. And this one is very well lit. Different lights um, help with that also. With the look at night. And this is Yokohama Stadium. Our next stadium is an offline stadium. Saw a picture on Twitter about this. Uh, this is Woodrow Wilson High School in California. Has some crazy dimensions on it. So we attempted to make this thing. Uh, biggest difference would be over here between center and right field. Make that a little bit more straightened out like this. But this was the closest we could get with what we had. I'll get the dimensions real quick though. Now I think these dimensions were actually different from what we have here. But we have 500 in left and center and then only 302 in right. And some of these were different in the picture but we were limited. I wanna say that left went out even farther than what it is. We did add a few things here. Um, all we used was one uh, satellite image to recreate this along with that Twitter picture that didn't really show too much. This is actually a softball field over here. So that kind of pushed things out a little bit. We were able to add our basketball courts here though. Some of this does look uh, probably quite a bit different though than in real life, but we've got our lights around it also. So we'll light it up. And this can only be used in offline modes, so. Road to the Show, Franchise, also uh, Mini Seasons if you're in Diamond Dynasty mode. Now this next stadium did not get very good feedback on Reddit about it, but we had to do something the opposite of Parallel Park for fun. Um, this was kind of uh, used as a Road to the Show pitching stadium, but could really be used for anything. Um, this one is the exact opposite though. It only has one foot of elevation. And it is 500 feet all around. And I'm pretty sure our walls 
are 40 feet high. So to go around here, it's a little bit tougher to add stuff when you're that high up for it to be seen. So we added our ballpark village with our stands up there. A few things to hit the ball at. Built this up a little bit higher. Kind of had the thought of uh, the Wrigley Field bleachers here. So we added the scoreboard there too. Stack things up a little bit. Put our scoreboard there. Along with our bleachers there. We have our city back behind here. And I use this in Road to the Show when I'm uh, using my pitcher, usually. The ball will not fly that far. Um, and the games I've played, when they do get beat out by it, they'll usually run it down pretty quickly and get the ball back in. Um, so far, so good, though. Let's light it up quick at night. See what it looks like. Pretty well lit. We've got the hit it here out there. That is an absolute shot to try and get a hold of there. I do have another video uh, attempting a home run derby in this stadium though, and we did not have any luck. So that's there too if you want to see the elements in action. And this one is called No Fly Zone. Our second to last stadium here is one of my most favorite builds of this year. This one is Verdansk Train Station. It is very recent stadium that was created. This is uh, replicating my favorite place to drop in Warzone. I'm probably one of the few people that liked actually going there. Biggest thing I would change about it would be our tops of our buildings here. I would cut those off. Just have that flat. Kind of give us that look a little bit better there. But that was my favorite spot to go. I'll kind of give it this look over here from the tracks. We built this over here. There are some little buildings over this way. We put our field though right by the road there. Gave it that look. Our hills I would have done a little bit differently now. Now that we have our berms, I could have built that up a little better. This was my favorite place to drop though. Then you. You go in through there, get in that building, and you loot everything. I sure do miss Verdansk though sometimes. We used escalators to give this look though of our stairs going up. That really helped with everything. I really like uh, this building also because when you're trying to hit home runs, uh, you can hit them over this building, over the stands even a little bit. This stadium is the typical 300, 400, 300 with three foot walls. We've got bleachers all the way around for fans. A thousand fans can uh, fit here. We've got our trains over here. We've got our trolley. This is about pretty close to 500 feet over here to try and hit one out. I do have a home run derby video of this stadium also in one of my prior videos, pretty recent one. but. We'll go ahead and light it up at night, and here's how it looks. We also built on our other uh, places on the map down the way. We've got Storage Town over there. This was a little area also down this way, usually where I would go after train station. We attempted Boneyard over here with our planes. Tried to part them out using uh, little hills over there. We built this up a little bit. We had our fire station over here. I would have done this differently also. About two weeks later or so, not even, we got our new props after building this. But this was our last stadium without the new props. We've got one stadium left. Our last stadium is my most recent build, which has a couple of recent videos to it also. This is Modern Woodman Park in Davenport, Iowa. I love this stadium. It's one of the top minor league ballparks. This was my first big test with the new props. I really like how it turned out. Um, if I had more space, I would have built the city around it. That was a big thing I wanted to do, but just wasn't able to. The main thing was to get everything to look good inside the stadium as close as possible with what we have. But we've got our giant Ferris wheel. The other thing is the new props do take up more space. So we had to take that into consideration when building this also. Ferris wheel was a big part of that. 
the biggest difference here would be there's more of a metal bridge look here where it's a little more clear through there but we used uh, concrete to make that completely solid there we also have stairs down to here a little bit tougher area to build there but we added our uh, suites there they're a little different custom press box using shipping containers have our concession stands all the way around and then this is a much larger version of what's actually at the stadium these are little smaller rides over here there's also a couple uh, things over this way too that are different but we used what we had um, same with the bridge we used our uh, arch from st. Louis put it down as far as we could to make that look uh, with the bridge Normally the arches would look different, but I do have comparison pictures in a prior video on here. Let's go ahead and light it up at night though. I love how the berms turned out on the stadium also, using it the first time. Really well lit in here though. I love these uh, lights that I put in here. These are usually my go-to now when it comes to uh, lighting as it helps light up an entire stadium. But these are all of my stadiums at this point, at the end of August. Thanks for checking out the video. And uh, let me know in the comments what type of stadium you like to see the most. Whether it's uh, replica stadiums or completely custom stadiums. And what type of stadium you'd like to see me create next.